For those with egg cells, decreased fertility can occur much more rapidly than many other aspects of aging. But now there could be some positive insight into how to improve viability. Researchers publishing in the journal Aging have found that rapamycin, a molecule known for its effects on metabolism and touted as a possible longevity drug, improves the viability of oocytes. These researchers have previously examined the effect of rapamycin on egg cells taken from mice, finding that it reduces reactive oxygen species and protects against DNA damage. This study builds on that work, using oocytes from aged mice and humans over the age of 35. Taking oocytes from 40 to 48 week old mice and cultivating them in vitro, the researchers found that 86% of the rapamycin treated group matured, while only 75% of the control group matured. After a form of simulated fertilization, more eggs from the rapamycin group showed signs of activation, 54% to 41%, and cellular division, 48% to 33%. Similar positive effects were shown on other abnormalities. Roughly 39% of the control group had misaligned chromosomes, while only 20% of the rapamycin group did. Effects on chromosomal spindles and mitochondrial membranes seemed positive, but were not deemed significant. However, the effects on reactive oxygen species and DNA damage were substantial and visible. Fluorescence from reactive oxygen species was 14 in the rapamycin group and 49 in the control group. In the control group, the reactive fluorescence of a particular marker of DNA damage was roughly two and a half times that of the rapamycin group. Finally, the researchers examined a total of 131 oocytes taken from humans who had volunteered for in vitro fertilization. 64 of these oocytes were in the control group and 67 were in the rapamycin group. While the rapamycin group showed greater maturation, due to the relatively low sample size, these positive results were not deemed significant. However, fertilized oocytes did benefit in a specific and important way. Comparing 39 fertilized eggs from the control group and 34 from the rapamycin group, they found that the rates of normal fertilization were no different, but the number of high-quality embryos was substantially different. The rapamycin group had 12, while the control group had only 5. These are the embryos that are most likely to survive through development and childbirth. The researchers note that these results are positive but not as positive as they might have liked. Rapamycin was shown to ameliorate many problems with chromosomes and genetic damage. However, it appears to be unable to help cells repair double-stranded DNA breaks, which are more common in oocytes derived from humans over 35, and the researchers believe that this may have affected the results. A combination treatment of NAD boosters, rapamycin, and additional compounds to enhance DNA repair may be the future path forward for improving the success rates of in vitro fertilization, but more research is needed. When there's more to share, we'll have it for you here. So please subscribe so you don't miss out. I'm Ryan O'Shea, and we'll see you next time on Lifespan News.